I'm Bob Gallagher, the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, May 19th, 2023. Welcome to the mayor's office here in City Hall. We are joined today by our community development director, Mark Hunt. Mark, thanks so much for joining the message. Thanks, Mayor. Glad to be here. So we are here to talk about community development and something called a comprehensive use plan. Mark's department is very busy this time of year looking at plans for those who want to develop in our city. There's a permitting process and all kinds of different things that go into those new developments. And if you are following the news over the last week or so, you've heard part of that process is a public hearing process for lots of folks to come tell us and other committees what they think about the proposed or planned developments. This all starts with something called a comprehensive use plan. Mark, tell us about a comprehensive use plan. What is it? Sure, um, we call it a comp plan for short and comp for comprehensive plan. Um, really what we're doing with this plan is looking at land use in the city of Bettendorf and how it should change going forward. We're a growing city. We need to add housing. We need to add industry. We need to add commercial development. Where should those be? Where does it make sense? And planning for that land use then builds into our future zoning code and decisions we make about uh, development in the city. So we start with this plan. Um, there's a public input process and that's what we're really excited about right now. Yeah, so we did this plan and, and because of the growth, we're kind of revising this plan on a faster timetable than we used to in the past. And that's because we've got the great thing <laughs> of the growth that's happening in the city. And it's a positive, but it's also sometimes a hurdle. So this plan looks at every piece of property in the city and thinks into the future, hey, what would this look like if we got our magic ball out and said, this is kind of what we thought it might be. Then we had a zoning map on top of that to say these are the kinds of uses that you thought you wanted that would fit in this zoning category. And you said there's a public process to this. Tell me about that. Yeah, I think you, you laid the groundwork great, Mayor. This is the this is the time to tell us what type of use you want to see that will be matched with zoning in the future with city law. So to tell us that, to give us that information, especially in our newer parts of town or parts that might be redeveloping, you can go uh, to the city website. Um, and there will be a link there that will take you to a public input page. This public input page has a map of the city, an aerial photo of the city, and you can just drag and drop icons and leave your thoughts on, hey, I think this should be commercial, or I'd like to see this redevelop as uh, housing, whatever the case might be. Um, it's a great place to tell us that, that information. Um, your comments will be public. Other people can see them and comment on them as well. The site is moderated, um, but it's a great place to tell us what you see for the future, how you want to see the city change. Maybe you have an idea on parks. Maybe you have an idea um, on a certain interchange that you'd like to see some businesses locate at. Yeah, and we've got most of that input would be towards some of the infill projects on empty ground surrounded by some other development and moving out Middle Road where we're seeing a lot of single family but yet some other commercial to service that single family or well, maybe even some multifamily out that direction. So this isn't to go say, hey, I want my neighbor's house changed to be a park because right. that's not going to happen and we don't own those pieces of ground, even those we're talking about, but it's really in the more open spots or in maybe in an area like the downtown where we are actively redeveloping and there's lots of parcels being amassed for certain, certain projects uh, that you may like downtown. And if you have some ideas for the projects near the bridge or around the casino or something like that, that you think this would be a cool place for fill in the blank, this is your opportunity. We'd like to hear from you. How long is that window open for comments on the website so it's it'll be open this friday so it'll be open today basically and we'll leave it open all the way through the completion of the plan now there'll be a time where we have to stop and publish a plan because we're going we to use the info yeah we're going to use the information that's going to be part just one part of our public input we're also going to have in in person public input events as well sure um so this is only one way to, to do it um but it'll be open through the whole planning process i would say through january of 2020 um 2024 and and at that point we'll have to phase the website out of course right. the one thing it's not great for is asking questions if you have a question about a current project and you need an answer I would ask that you call my office the community development office you can call uh, City Hall and we'll try and get that answer quickly this is not a good question and answer form it's more of a place to you know see the future propose what you'd like the future to be sure exactly what it sounds like it's yeah. public input yes tell us your input correct then 
through the process, we also do in-person type meetings and there'll be other ways for you to get involved and be heard. We haven't scheduled those meetings yet because we are at the infancy stage and we're looking for that initial input. This is a great way to try to do that through the website. As we compile that input, we'll also get input from the professionals who are our consultants, from the folks that make some of these decisions on Board of Adjustment or Plan and Zone or City Council. So there'll be a lot of different heads put together and we have a plan that you can go see on our city website as well. Not only the current comprehensive use plan but also our current zoning map. Those are things, uh, starting points if you will. So it's a, it's a process. It's an input process and we're hoping that you'll provide your input. Thank you very much for joining us today, Mark. Thanks, Mayor. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend.